Hi, it's Monday. It's like 6.30 in the morning. Um, I got my cycle today. So, I'm in a lot of pain, as per usual, but I'm just trying to stay on top of it. I have my heat pad on, and I took some ibuprofen. But yeah, I probably won't do much today. But if I do, you guys will see it. Hi again. It's 2 o'clock now. 2 p.m. Still Monday. Um, I've literally been sleeping since that last clip. Now I'm eating my favorite cinnamon raisin swirl bread toasted with butter. You know who I really miss? I miss my boyfriend. Anyway, to take more medicine um, because I can feel the cramps coming back. I just want to tell a quick little thing that I thought was funny. So my dad a few hours ago came in here while I was half asleep and told me something and I couldn't really remember what it was. So I asked my mom when she came in and dropped off the toast. Your dad said when he's rich, instead of buying every flavor of Hot Pocket, he wants to buy a pair of shoes for every day of the week. Which like, you don't have to be rich to do that, dad. Like realistically, he doesn't have to buy all the shoes at the same, like at the same time. Like he could just start buying shoes when he likes, anyway. I just thought it was funny because he always likes to bring up the whole Hot Pocket thing, which, the whole hot pocket thing was I had this friend that I'm not friends with anymore and she came over one time and said when I'm rich I'm gonna have every flavor of hot pocket in my fridge and he's he thought it was like the dumbest thing for someone to say ever because hot pockets are so cheap so he brings it up pretty often but I just wanted to I just wanted to tell that story because I thought it was funny I'm probably just gonna sit in bed and edit videos all day we have a Oh, hi. Oh no. Oh no. So it's Wednesday. I got a little oatmeal for McDonald's. I put the little raisins and apples in it. I go back to school today. Not excited. Hi. I'm going to put some quick makeup on. Nothing too crazy because I don't want to take too much time doing my makeup and my beauty blender needs to be cleaned because right now it has a darker, I used it for a darker foundation. But I thought, well, I did my makeup, my very quick, easy makeup <laughs> that we could talk about um, my journey that I want to take this year. So obviously it's 2023, new year to me, babe. And I was talking to one of my good friends at school, Sophie. She's been in the videos before. Um, and I was telling her, I think I want to be more feminine this year. And like, here's the thing. When I was growing up, like when, as soon as I hit middle school, I had a uniform. So from like kindergarten to fifth grade, my mom kind of dressed me. And then as soon as I was old enough to make my own clothing decisions, I couldn't really like explore that because I had to wear a uniform. So I wore a uniform for three years and then i went to high school um obviously when you're in high school you're kind of like figuring yourself out you don't really know so honestly i kind of just wore what i thought looked good to like other people i guess i definitely in high school was not dressing for me well my freshman year i probably was but from like sophomore to junior i just like did not know what i was doing which is fine and then covid hit and i didn't go to school so i didn't really have to like dress up every day because i wasn't doing anything i cannot multitask anyway i started exploring other fashion styles other clothing styles and i really liked a lot of alternative clothing when I was in high school, I very much did like the like um, streetwear 90s look. Like I didn't like the classic 90s. I liked the baggy clothes and the jerseys, a very masculine era of clothing. And to this day, I still feel very comfortable in like baggy masculine clothing. I just feel like it's kind of, I feel like it's kind of what made me different. And that's not like the sole reason I liked it, I think 
that masculine clothes on a woman is just so beautiful. But in high school, my mom would be like, why are you wearing boy clothes? And so then I tried dressing more feminine. And then when I was dressing more feminine, it was like, you're showing too much. Um, like that clothing is too tight. Like I wasn't wearing anything that like showed my body, but it was like tight clothes that conformed to my body. So I guess that's where the issue came from. Um, so I didn't really like know what to do with that information. I was kind of lost for a while. And then I graduate high school, still don't really know what I like to wear. I kind of just like wore whatever I felt like wearing, but it was never really truly happy with what I was wearing. But yeah, I didn't really like know what I was wearing. And then literally four months after I graduate, I get thrown into another school with the uniform. Hence what I'm wearing right now. You know, in high school, you kind of make fun of people for being basic. That's just kind of how the ball rolls, which I get it. I don't want to look like everyone else either. And so I kind of strayed away from like trends later in the year. Like I was definitely dressing for the trend when I first got to school, um, probably after freshman year. I definitely wanted to fit in with my group of friends. I didn't want to look like a basic lady. And so, now I really want to try just being more feminine. My biggest fear is dressing in outfits. <laughs> this is going to sound bad. So I used to be friends with this girl and we would kind of always like poke a little fun because all her outfits looked exactly the same. And she was like, I'm a fashionista. And we were like, girl, you wear the same outfit. It's the same outfit, different font. You wear the same basic stuff, but with a, like a different jacket. And then it all of a sudden is, anyway. So we kind of make fun of that. So that's my biggest fear is like all my outfits being kind of the same. I don't want that to happen. So I have to kind of figure out what I'm going to do. I definitely want to talk to my friend Sophie about it because she's like, oh girl, my homework. She's kind of like my hyper femme friend and has really helped me like not look like a little boy sometimes, which is nice. I just, I just want a change of pace. You guys are gonna experience all this freaking change. You're gonna see me wearing a, like a, a, a bodysuit. Sophie's really helped me like realize that being feminine is okay, even though like I like more alternative style. Like it's okay to be girly every once in a while and not get shamed for that but again don't want to look like everyone else so i just kind of have to figure out what works for me and what makes me happy i definitely feel like i'll throw more in the summer because in the winter time like i just want to wear a hoodie you know what i mean like <sighs> i haven't done my makeup in a hot minute i'm gonna do eyeliner i really need to buy a new one because all of mine are pretty dried out and it's really bothered me. But I want like a good drugstore one because I don't want to spend like $30 on an eyeliner. But I've never found a drugstore one that, that I absolutely loved. We're trying a tech number two. Waxing rounds two. I talked about you while I was doing my makeup today. Oh my I was like, I get to go see my business. <laughs> Honestly, yes. It was a horrible day without you. I was literally, I was literally in assembly. Tell me why I almost had a breakdown in assembly. We literally walked in and I was like looking around and I was like, where's Angel? Where's Angel? And the people behind me, they were like, um, they're in phase three. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> You're like, oh my wait. God. I know because you oh text me god. like, are you in the morning? I said, no, I'm dying. Um, um, I don't think I'm ready. <laughs> um, I think it's fine and you're not even going to feel anything. <laughs> I'm so afraid right now. <gasps> Should we ask you to give me a deep condition? That would be the dream of my life today, honestly. A deep condition? Yeah. I wouldn't mind. I got nothing. That would be the dream of my life. <laughs> Say one day is done. That's what I mean. Yes, and you'll go in a world, in a new world. Oh, freedom is mine. And you know how I feel. I'm home. Uh, I'm just doing schoolwork pretty much all day anyways i don't know what i'm doing for the rest of the night but if anything cool happens as i always say i'll let you guys know what do i wear 
I thought you were gonna help me with this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. day on friday i'm doing hours and eating this cookie i have almost fallen asleep three times because i've been up since like 7 30 in the morning and yeah but i'm not doing anything else tonight so i hope this vlog is like long enough i'll see you guys on wednesday bye